Hey, everybody, we are live at Bay Studios right now with Sugar Ray Rayford. Man, thank you for being here. Everybody, thank you for being here. Thank you for having us, man. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Right here tonight. Yeah, and a big happy 50th birthday to Lavelle Jones on the, the drum kit back there. Birthday. Um, man, thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it very much. Uh, you're going to play three songs off of Somebody Save Me, which is out right now on 40 Below Records. Right and uh, can you tell us what you're going to start out with? Well, this third song is called I'll Kill For You, Honey. And it's about what a man will do for his woman. But the trick question is when he asks, would you do the same for me? <laughs> Goes like this here. Come on, fellas. That's amazing, man. Thank you for doing this. This is just about the most sound that has ever been in this room, just about the most humans that have ever been in this room. Thank you. And I cannot imagine how, uh, with this many humans in the room, you're still able to move around like that and dance that way. This is just a tremendous amount of energy, man. Thank you. The bigness is deceptive. <laughs> <laughs> I think small. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about some of whether whether they're musical influences, whether they are just influences in life? Any kind of any any artist who has uh, has uh, influenced well, you towards the spot that you're at in your career right now? I, I personally, you know, I grew up gospel, but uh, I'm really really into like you know um, blues wise, Mr. Sunhouse, soul wise. I really love what Dunn Hathaway, Bobby Womack, um, Isaac Hayes, Curtis Mayfield. Uh, and it's like no one's doing that type of music anymore. And uh, 
I'm pretty happy with what's going on, which is why I always bring the horns and the keys and everything with me. And uh, I just want to, uh, my idea of music is fusion. You know, it's kind of blending together. You can call me a blues man, a gospel man, a soul man. I just want to make good music and uh, not be put in a box. So my musical tastes go all the way from Parliament to Loose Ends to Simply Red to Queen and everything in between. I just think that if it's good music... It's good music, so yeah, that's what that's about it for me. Well, dude, I mean, this is the perfect room for it. It's just just over Lavelle's uh, right shoulder. Is that Curtis Curtis Mayfield real? Uh, you said little at yep, yeah, yeah, right there. Hey Lavelle, make sure you grab uh, that on the way little, out. Little little real right there of Curtis Mayfield <laughs> in, in 1973 at Hofstra University. I mean, there's just oh, so right. every single one of the things you're talking about right now is uh, well, you know, in the old in the, the old right days, that's what it. it was. You know, they didn't let people put them in boxes. You know, you think about Prince and some of these guys. It was just like. They just make good music, and if you wanted to call it blues or you wanted to call it soul, whatever, it was just good music. So yeah, yeah, well, that's cool. Thank you for sharing it with us today. And can we also can we introduce the band too? We'll hold our applause until the end. There's a lot of uh, introductions to be made, but can we introduce the band, please? Definitely. On the keyboards, ladies and gentlemen, from Pasadena, my main man Drake Monkey Head Shining. Thank you, thank you. Newest member of the band, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Alistair Green. Birthday man on the birthday back there. Birthday man on the drums, I should say, on the birthday. This birthday and the drums. Mr. LaBelle Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Yay! <laughs> on the tenor sax, Mr. Aaron Litter. Yep, 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 yep. On the trumpet, Mr. Josh Straw. And behind him, holding down the bottom, as always, the amenable, Mr. Alan Markell. All right. Bravo, bravo. Man, bravo. thank all you guys for being here. Thank you guys for having us, man. Yeah, 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 of course. It was a total pleasure for us. Thank you for making Dude, it's Tuesday afternoon at 2.30, and this is happening here. So all right, uh, not many other people on this Tuesday afternoon at 2.30 are having the same experience. <laughs> so I'm happy that this is my job. We get to do this all the time, but not with this uh, this, this force and energy in this room. Oh, thank so. you, brother. Um, can you tell us what you're going to do second off of Somebody Save Me? Yeah, I think this next one is called Dark, Dark Night of the Soul. And uh, when Eric was uh, starting to write this and we were talking and he was taking ideas and stuff in my head and, and really just meshing them in, this song was about greed. And what we mean by greed is corporate greed. And this whole album has an undertone of uh, darkness and light. And there's both. We need both. But, uh, you know, this is about civility. And that's what I believe that the world is missing today is the ability not always to agree because we're not always going to agree. But can we have the civility to listen to each other's argument? So that's what this is about, Dark Night of Soul. Like, you got everything. Don't you ever think about other people? Check it out.
Man, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, and we are like we were talking about outside before we before we went online here. We are stoked to use this platform to amplify voices that are singing about important messages like that. So uh, so thank you very much for coming and doing this. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, can we talk a little bit about the production of the album itself and talk a little bit about the, the maybe the similarities between what's happening in this room versus uh, versus the production of the album? I and mean, I know a lot of it was tracked essentially live. Yeah, we, we tracked the most of it live. And uh, I was lucky to have people like uh, Eric had great guys that he'd worked for before. I wasn't able to use my band on the uh, actual album recording, but the next album they'll do that. So for the first album, he brought in people like Matt, Matt, Matt Crew and, and Taraz and... Rick Holstrom and a few other cats, Sasha Smith, and you know they work with uh, with uh, Eric on a bunch of different product projects, including like John Mayall and a bunch of others. So they knew him very well. Yeah. And we, you know, the songs, you know, for me, I have to inhabit a song. I'm not one of those people to just. I'm not a um, mean no disrespect to anyone. I'm not one of those flirty. Long time ago when I was young, I used to do what we used to call vocal gymnastics and all the. But now for me, when I sing, I have to really believe in what I'm singing because I give everything I got into the song, and for me it has to be believable. And so I had to really explain that to Eric and get him to take that to heart, that I'm not one of these guys that don't just sing things to be singing them. I'm from the old church where you can, we used to say you can sing a lie just as easy as you can tell a lie. And I think that people can tell the difference when someone's believing what they're singing. And so we retracted live, and we, we, we did them probably like two or three times. And we only had a couple of days where we went back in and tried to clean up some things. And, and then I was back out on the road. Matter of fact, I had come off the road as I've been on the road pretty much for the last two years, I come off the road, like now, uh, I think this is the 17th, or 18th, 19th day in a row of singing, and this is the voice I got after 19 days in a row of singing. Same thing was there. We literally landed from Europe, I think I was, and went right into the studio and recorded this album, uh, Horse and Beat Up. Yeah. Uh, but Eric loved, like, he was like, oh, man, you know, the gravel, the horses, the blah, 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 I like it. And uh, it was just real, you know, and he, he, you know, God bless Eric Korn and 40 Below. Uh, he he understood what I was trying to get at, and I wanted to do. So, I had the different uh, contracts on the table when I met him, but he understood where I wanted to go in my career and what I wanted to talk about. And uh, I I think that he did a bang up job. I think he knocked it out the park. But yeah, it was tracked live, and I, I'm trying to think of it. we we retracked most of it at Bobby, Bobby Krieger's studio out in LA. So that was pretty cool to be in there, and I actually got to meet a couple of those guys. Nice. And that Dude, was there's fun. a Doors so, tape right over there. Yeah, well, yeah. you know they were there. We had their studio, <laughs> and they came. Uh, Bobby, I think, came in a couple times and hung out, and uh, Walter Trout came in. So it was fun. It was, it was great. Man, that's amazing. I'm glad that you guys had that had that experience. You're able to be on the on the same page like that with uh, with Eric and put out the thing that you meant to put out. Man, uh, hopefully everyone who's looking at this live stream right now is able to check it out. Somebody save me is the album. It's out right now on Forty Below, and uh, we're about to hear a third song from it. Right? Can you tell us what's coming up next? This song, I love this song. It's called You and I, and it's uh, you know, I wanted to bring back that old Motown soul feel. You know, the, the thing that Sharon Jones and Charles Bradley was doing, and now Lee Fields. And it's not very many people left in that field of music. I'm a blues man, but the blues is the roots, and everything else is the fruits. So I wanted to bring that back. And Eric puts a, put a lot of that old, and we're not talking about L.A. Motown. It's like that Detroit Motown feel. So it's got old soul blues feel, like what Little Milton and Tyrone Davis and, you know, Bobby Bland and all those guys were done. So I hope you like it. You and I. I'm going to send this out to my beautiful wife that I haven't seen since I don't know when. I hope she's still my wife when I get home. I love you, baby. <laughs> we'll see you there. Now, you people at home, get up out them chairs. I know you're at work. Get your co-workers to move with you. Let's see, food is wiggling and everything is jiggling, baby. We're going to take it back to 1972. Come on, fellas. When we all parties and all the crime 
Thank you, thank you so much for coming through and doing this. And best of luck on Somebody Save Me. It's out right now on 40 Below Records. And uh, and happy 50th birthday to Lavelle Jones. Yes. And uh, guys, travel yes. safely. You've got there's Northeast dates through uh, April 14th. You've got Western European dates from late April through through May. There's tons of there's dates announced all the way through November. I think uh, it's all up at SugarRayRayford.com. And uh, please everybody check it out. Best of luck on the album, guys. See, this is amazing. Thank you. Hey, thank you, guys, man. Thank you. That was amazing. Appreciate it very much.